My name is Nisha Blackwell. I've lived in the Homewood part of Pittsburgh my entire life. Growing up, I walked the streets all of the time and I saw remnants of buildings and signs on buildings. I knew that there was once a vibrant community. No one knew the charm and the amazing people that lived in Homewood. It was like a secret. A couple years ago, I was putting myself through nursing school. I was working at a coffee shop to pay the bills and I got laid off. I did not know what I was gonna do. I had a friend's daughter's birthday coming up. I didn't have any extra money to get her a really nice gift. And then a light bulb went off. I had a sewing machine that was still sitting in the box in my house and I didn't even know how to turn it on. So I pulled up YouTube, I typed in the sewing machine model, turning the machine on, how to spin the bobbin. I kept watching videos over and over and over, rewinding and pausing. At about 3 a.m., I finally got to the point where I could make a stitch, and I came up with these hair bows, and the parents literally went crazy. Like, oh my gosh, where did she get those? Who got those for her? That's when I was kind of like, I made it. <laughs> I left that party with six customers. That was where I started reimagining myself. Wow, I'm an entrepreneur, I could do this. When I was making the hair bows, people started asking for things for guys. It became a natural progression to go from creating hair bows into bow ties. And that's how Knotsland was born. We make handmade bow ties out of repurposed and reclaimed fabrics to prevent fabric waste. When Knotsland first started, I was a one woman show. I took a class that taught me the basics of how to get the business online. And once Nasland was up, I was like, whoa, people want these bow ties and I had to keep growing. It's good when you need more people to help you. The first employee of Nasland was my little brother. Since I was young, I looked up to her. She's extremely inspirational to me. I told her when she first started to um, work fast because it'll grow fast. I bring a little flavor to the bow tie game. <laughs> I'm proud of her and I, I like being a part of Knott's Land. Okay. No. <laughs> what we do in Knott's Land is we work with women around our community to come into the studio and learn how to sew, but also learn a little bit about how the business is run. Even if you're just fixing things or if you want to start a business for yourself, you can do this. <laughs> Around here, where we're from, the Homewood area in Pittsburgh, there's not much of anybody getting out of this neighborhood. So for her to be where she is right now, it's extremely powerful to the people in this community. She got a lot on her plate. She got a lot, a lot of people looking up to her. She's carrying us. She's carrying Homewood right now. It's a good feeling to know that you can imagine up something and just go for it. I make bow ties. <laughs> and I gave myself a whole new life. It's been a crazy journey. <laughs>